Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on October the 31st, 2019. Dollar falls after Fed move. U.S. dollar declined against a basket of major currencies on Thursday, reversing earlier gains after the Federal Reserve cut interest rates for the third time this year and its signal for a potential pause in the easing cycle was taken with little disappointment. In lowering its policy rate by 25 basis points to a target range of between 1.50% and 1.75%, the U.S. Central Bank dropped a previous reference in its policy statement that it will act as appropriate to sustain the economic expansion. The dollar index rose to as high as 98 as Fed Chairman Jerome Powell spoke about its decision, the highest since October the 17th before slipping. The index was last down 0.4% at 97.29, its lowest level in a week. Trump's top Russia advisor will leave his post. The top White House official on Russian affairs will be leaving his post soon. It was reported a day before he was due to give testimony to the impeachment inquiry in Congress. Tim Morrison, the senior director of Europe and Russia, is a key witness of the central question in the impeachment investigation, whether Donald Trump used the power of his office to persuade the Ukrainian government to launch investigation aimed at damaging his political opponents. Morrison's exit is also likely to have other consequences. He is hawk on Russia, adamantly opposed to arms control, who was first brought into the White House by former national security adviser John Bolton, whose views he largely shares. They were both opposed to extending New Star Treaty Limit in U.S. and Russia's strategic nuclear arsenals. Copper steady despite weak Chinese data London copper was steady in Shanghai Copper East on Thursday as China data pointed to weak demand while worries of supply disruption in Chile, the world's biggest producer, provide some support. Factory activity in China, the world's biggest consumer of the metal, shrank for the sixth straight month in October, pointing to further pressure of its manufacturers as they grapple with the weakest economic growth in nearly 30 years. China's purchasing managers index fell to 49.3 in October versus 49.8 in September. PMI number below market expectations show that headwinds facing China's economy are still there. Going forward, there will be slowing demand as China enters into winter time. Microsoft can get a stunning Pentagon cloud wing. In the 18 months since the Pentagon announced it would turn to a single company for a cloud computing system worth up to $10 billion, Amazon went from presumed front-runner to losing bitter thanks to key developments in a year-long delay that set the stage for Microsoft's stunning wing. The series of events highlights how an increasingly politicized procurement process complicates strategy for companies seeking large government deals, especially for companies such as Amazon that become a target of President Trump's ire. And it shows how competition for taxpayer-funded defense contracts can seriously complicate the government's plans, in some cases delaying important projects. The Defense Department originally expected to award the contract by September 2018, but the timeline was repeatedly thrown off by legal action and related high-level inquiries, prompted in large part by complaints from Amazon's competitors. During the 13-month delay, Microsoft made progress toward receiving the highest-level Defense Department security certification, which only Amazon currently holds.